Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Today, today, we're on the continent of the Empire. Although we're not going to go to their capital city for a while, which is our eventual destination. No, first, we're going to walk around to all these towns. Like Albrook, which is the one we landed beside. Um, I wonder. Okay. I wasn't sure whether or not that would trigger a battle. So, this is sort of a depressing sight. Welcome to Albrook, the occupied city. But, they do sell the Weepons. The Weepons! Ha ha! That's actually a downer, eh? I get well that answers one question then. I guess you can take Shadow into this part. Well too late now. I'll just get a bastard sword for Slez. I don't really need any weapons for anyone else. Let's talk to this guy though. I'm a scholar of ancient weaponry. Two weapons known as Ultima Weapon as the Ultima weapons were used during the War of the Magi a thousand years ago. One was a sword whose blade sprang from its wielder's strength. The other, a monster born for destruction. So there's the ultimate weapon, the sword, and the ultimate weapon, the... monster. You know, I don't think it's actually true. I mean, I'm just reading the, the, the description of the bastard sword. A bastard sword is not a long, narrow blade made for thrusting. It's a... Well, it is a long sword, but it's not really narrow. It's made to be bigger than a long sword, but smaller than whatever comes afterwards. Basically, it's meant so you can switch between one and two-handed. Hmm... I probably shouldn't have opened those, truth be told. Well, oh well. Too late now. Let's see, I want one of these. Um... Another one of these wouldn't hurt, but I don't need it right now. You know, I don't actually, yeah. I don't actually need to buy very much equipment right now. I do believe that the... The Priest Mittler is better for... no? Huh. Go figure. Well, if I was gonna do that, then I may as well just throw on a... Wait, I only have three green barrettes. I thought I had four. Oh no, I do. Yeah, if I was gonna do this, I may as well just throw on a green barrette. Although it does give me... A... Ooh, bonus MP. Okay, maybe that is worthwhile. I mean, it's a drop of my magic power, but... Sure, let's do it. Um, I'm gonna want more of those later, but I don't need any more right now. And I'm gonna have other opportunities to buy them. Emperor Gastal commissioned a painting. But what kind of painting should I do? I don't know. I don't really care either. He, that guy's going down. Eventually. Oh yeah, the relic shop, right. Which has its own... I guess the pub's in the back? There are actually some relics I don't have, but... The amulet is another status effect preventing one, which is redundant because I have a ribbon. Might be worth getting another earring, but... Nah. Let's go into the back. cha -da! It's a clock elixir! Just like everywhere else. Yep, here's the pub. <laughs> you probably don't even have any money. Hey, you're not an Imperial. Get out of here. 
and so on. So it seems. We have to bribe the Imperial soldiers or they won't let us do business here. In our own city! Poor guy. Yeah, defy me and you'll regret it more like. Anyway, we're done here. There wasn't really that much to do. Just shopping, really. Our next stop is... Let me think. Uh... Well, I guess our next stop is fighting Wyrms. Um... Let's, let's do that. Let's steal. And let's do this. Wait, did I do that backwards? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Good. Good. Because of it, yeah, honestly, I probably sh should have used the drool again. Well, this seems to be working out. I don't know. Weaverns are kind of iffy. Woohoo, thunder on the person who already knew how to do magic. Oi. Okay, well, we are going to go to the east first. Because reasons. Actually, we, well, because it's the closest one. But also, I'm pretty sure the one with the least stuff to do at it right now. Truth be told. Let's uh, do that. Let's attack. And let's auto crossbow. Bulldog is not strong dog. At least not in this case. Which is probably a good thing, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. Rising Phoenix! Again! And they're dead. At least they should be. The front one is certainly dead. Yep, they're both dead. So those have between six and eight hundred HP. Now then, uh, it's here. There we go. Imperial observation post. Actually, if I talk to someone, yeah, I was afraid of that. I really shouldn't have come here right now. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can take them, but it is kind of, uh, yeah, it, I'm kind of sequence breaking by coming here. I can fight these, but they are a little bit stronger than I am accustomed to, it's fair to say. Ooh, tent. And later in the game, it's a lot easier to get the stuff I want from here. Plus also... Yep. Plus also that. Um, yeah. Cure everyone! There we go. Okay, next up, we'll be going to the place on the northern area. The northmost place. After fighting more of these assholes. You know, just... Just... Just die. To kill them all! Kill them all! This ought to- oh, hey, the dog has a little more HP than I thought. <laughs> Whoops! Only a little, though. 
It does have tiger masks, though. Go figure. Okay, um, let's check that out. It's... Oh, okay, you can't wear that. Nor can you. Uh, you can. Okay, well, more strength, more speed, more stamina, more defense, less evasion. Because the green bread increases that, and it also gives the, Yeah, I think the green bread is better, to be honest. Okay, then. We are gonna... As I said, we're gonna head north, so let's do that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're actually, like, halfway there already. At least I think the one in the middle is the capital. But yeah. It just occurred to me, I might be getting my spots mixed. But I'm pretty sure... ...that this one is not the capital. Also, these things remind me of... ...of pocket prices just a little too much for my comfort. So... There's five of them though, so they probably don't have a, a whole lot of HP. I guess we'll find out. Well, they aren't dead yet. Oh, that did it. Did she get poison from Rama? I guess so. Hmm. Okay, what about... Well, no kidding. Oh, you already had that stuff! That explains a lot. I don't know when you learned it, but apparently you did. You're actually already done. And you have everything but float. Okay, well, in that case... Uh, this will be more effective to Celez, I think, but... She, her MP is also more valuable. And she has more of it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just... Yeah, this is a town. That's what I thought. It is... Tien. Which... Is not... I don't know what's here. To be honest. Most of the town's youth were led off to serve the Imperial Army. Our royal family was slaughtered by the Empire. Well, that's... that's sad. Mm-hmm. But yeah, unfortunately, my notes have a conspicuous... hole in them with regards to this town. It's... and it's not even my fault this time, I swear. Because my notes are primarily based off of a few FAQs on GameFAQs. And... Called the Guardian? Hmm. Okay then. That's good to know. But yeah, and the FAQ I was using, at least for this part, completely overlooked this town. Like, it basically mentioned it once, and that's it. It was kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> okay, well, I don't actually want any of these, because Green Brats are better. Uh... Yeah... I guess I could buy stop. So I'll buy one. Just so I have for the sake of comparison. I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll increase my evasion more. It does not. In fact, it does just the opposite. Yeah, that is kind of awful compared to the Green Barrette. What about the weapon shop? Anything new in here? Um, well, there's a boomerang. I guess I'll... Do I really want one of these? I... Guess I'll take one? Uh, you know, I actually am better off not. So I won't. I do need to find a pub, though. At least I think there's a pub here. More of an assumption, really. I mean, all of the shops on here are pretty similar. Oh, hey, that's actually really useful, but I already have two. 
Have one. This is a status effect thing, right? You know, no, I know it is. I'm not, I'm not buying it just to prove something I already know. Okay. Is there anything back here? Doesn't look like it. I kind of wish the soldiers would stop walking in the way, though. My grandfather once told me there's a huge gate deep inside the cave on the eastern edge of this continent. Where's that boy of mine? I told him not to play outside. It's dangerous with all these soldiers around. I'll bet. This looks familiar. Uh, not to you, though. It looks familiar to me. I... Yeah, we'll see where that comes in later on. Spoiler alert, we'll be coming back to this town at some point later in the game. Now, we're going to the far west spot. Now this one, although we haven't been there before at- Oh, I was worried there for a second. Although we haven't been there before, it is a town you should re recognize. Uh once we've entered it. Also, what are these? Look like something that burn! <laughs> that much is for sure. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to find out. Yep, I'd say those were weak against fire, all right. Cool, regen. That's... I don't even know if that is useful, actually. That... regen is a real hit-or-miss ability in Final Fantasy. Sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it isn't. Which one is it in this game? I don't recall. But I do recall that these things have, at most, 600 HP. And probably less than that. I don't know, though. I mean... Actually, I do have a beastery, don't I? Well, I say that. I have never used the beastery in any of these portable games. That's really bad. Oh, well... Ha-ha! And we're here. So, we'll check it out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. So until then, this has been Let's Play, well, Final Fantasy VI, with Chaos Baloo! And have a good day. Bye!